What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I thought this is a really interesting topic because I find myself feeling really conflicted. When I talk to my viewers about, you know, the potential candidates to uh, defeat Joe Biden, uh, which literally a head of lettuce should be able to do uh, at this point, uh, some people seem really like, hey, I'm, I'm a Trump guy. I, I want, you know, I'm a Trump through and through. Um, but then also people, you know, are, you know, supportive of DeSantis. Then there are also people who say, well, DeSantis is a, what is it, a rhino and he's, you know, controlled opposition. People don't like him. I'm concerned. I'm concerned because if they both run, we will lose. And when I say we, I mean the American people who would like to stop suffering under Joe Biden. Um, and so I'm hoping, and actually I have a video later today, uh, a bit of a, a mea culpa, a little bit of a, um, an apology that I hope you'll watch too, and a re, hopefully a reinvigoration. Um, but to also, this is you know kind of weird because Trump, Trump versus DeSantis, like Trump has to go after him, right? Because that's what Trump does. Um, Trump goes after his opponents. He has to go after him. He has to beat him in the primaries and then win the election. That's his path to becoming president if he's serious about being president, which why wouldn't he be? Okay. Now, if you're Ron DeSantis, you just stay quiet because um, it doesn't look good to be fighting back and forth. And, you know, I think that Trump may be losing people because DeSantis isn't fighting back and because DeSantis is just playing it cool. I don't know if I've felt that way yet. I still, you know, I, 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 I voted for Trump in 2016. I voted for him again in 2020. And I would probably, as things stand right now, vote for him in 2024. Um, as things stand right now. But I'm also not like super blindly loyal. And Joe Rogan weighed in on it. I thought it was a, a pretty interesting, you know, discussion. You know, Joe Rogan criticized former President Trump's nicknames for his potential GOP rival, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Ron DeSanctimonious, saying it's not a good one. Trump had started using the nickname for DeSantis during private conversations, but people have been quick to lay into the former president for the lackluster names. On Rogan's show last week, the host and writer Bridget Paytas uh, discussed how Trump is losing his touch with nicknames as the former president continues to roll out more insults about DeSantis. And I'm curious in the comment section, like how you genuinely feel about that. I don't, it doesn't bother me because he's always had nicknames for people and not all of them were great. I mean, he's had some good ones, obviously, but he's also had some like stinkers. It's just really, you know, the, the nickname for Ron DeSantis or DeSanctimonious is no different than he would do about anybody else. So it's like, ah, I don't, I don't know. As a guy who voted for Trump twice, doesn't really put me off. But I do think that there are more moderate people that voted Republican than maybe it does. Um, it comes as tensions come to a boil between the two 20, potential 2024 rivals, even though DeSantis has even announced a presidential run. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe he should... I, he, he clearly sees DeSantis as his only threat, and I would probably agree with that. Um, now, it all began when Trump hit the campaign trail last month. He told reporters on the plane between events in New Hampshire and South Carolina that it would be very disloyal if DeSantis launched a 2024 primary bid against him. Rogan on his show this week said he calls him Ron DeSanctimonious. Paytas interjects with, he needs to come up with another one, while Rogan concludes, it's not a good one. Uh, the guest added, he's losing his touch with his nicknames. Rogan said that there's just not a good one that you could come up for uh, Ron because Ron is too good, uh, because he's too good with that base and his success in Florida is pretty unparalleled. Nicknames, I didn't love Trump's like, oh, it's easy to succeed in Florida thing. You know, Florida being turning red is pretty important to Republicans. Uh, and staying red is even more important. Rogan said, there's just not a good one you can come, come up with, Ron, because Ron is too good with his base. The nicknames have continued even after Trump said in early Saturday morning post on True Social, they will not call DeSantis out by the nickname Meatball. Or he will not call him Meatball Ron, but then repeated a different slur. Um, I don't know if that's a slur. The former president claimed it would be inappropriate to use the word meatball as a moniker, it was, and which has been reported to be a jab at DeSantis's Italian heritage. <laughs> I don't, 
Uh, sometimes I just relate so much to Trump with the tweets. Like, it's just, no, I don't think it's a good look. I don't. But it's who he is. It's who he's always been. I will never call Ron to sanctimonious meatball Ron as the fake news is insisting. I will. He wrote on a conservative me. <laughs> this is so good. Fox News is uh, ending lightweight Paul Ryan. Blah, blah. Low energy Jeb Bush is his hero. Blah, blah, blah. It would be totally <laughs> inappropriate to use the word meatball as a moniker for Ron. The post continued, even though Fox News, oh, I hit that. But this week, late that night, he posted again, accusing DeSantis as being backed by uh, a perv organization and being a rhino in disguise. People have said that. I haven't started digging into like individual policy decisions that uh, Ron DeSantis has made because he hasn't even declared his presidency. I, I just think, or declared he wants to be run for president. There are plenty of people that think he's going to finish his governorship and then do it, um, which I think greedily, greedily enough, I would prefer that because I think both Trump and DeSantis running at the same time would be the only way Republicans don't win the presidency um, because Trump's base is there, there are people like me who voted for Trump, but also are like, eh, you know, I don't agree with everything Trump said. But then there are much of his base that are like so ride or die with him that if he lost in the primary, they wouldn't even come out and vote uh, in the general election. And that would probably he's got enough supporters that it would cost it very likely would cost Republicans the election. That is like the wor my worst case scenario. If Ron would just finish his governorship and I'm not saying he shouldn't run for president. I'm just being selfish like. If Ron came out and said, nah, I'm not ready yet. I've got a lot of work to finish here in Florida. And then let Trump run, win or lose, in 2024. Then I, Trump would really have to endorse him, <laughs> I guess, going forward. But if he lost again, would he run again? Probably. I, I don't know. Like Trump is just such, such a wild card. But um, it sure would make life you know, pretty interesting. He's a rhino in disguise, lamented, whose poll numbers are dropping like a rock. Good luck, Ron. I don't think his poll numbers are dropping, although Trump's numbers remain pretty strong. But again, Ron DeSantis has not declared that he's going to run for president. So I don't know. Maybe Trump should just chill on dunking on DeSantis a little bit because he's got really nothing to gain until such a point where Ron DeSantis would declare he wants to run for president. Then he could unload on him. But he tweets here, you know, Ron DeSanctimonious wants to cut your Social Security and Medicare, closed up Florida and its beaches. But that's just not right. He didn't close up Florida. Um, loves uh, loves Rhino Jeb Bush or whatever the case is. Carol Rove is backed by Globalist Club uh, for no growth. Lincoln Perv Project uninspired and only gets worse from there. He's a rhino in disguise whose poll numbers are dropping like a rock. It's, you know, it's interesting. You know, I side with Ron DeSantis on obviously culture issues, but I don't live in Florida, so I'm not as familiar with his like day to day decisions. Yeah, I love watching him absolutely dunk on um, on, you know, Wokies and Disney and stuff like that. But I don't you know, I, I don't know about I don't know about saying that he closed down Florida because Florida basically remained open. Right. Um, and. If they both battle in 2024, that's like my that's like the worst nightmare. That's like the only scenario we get four more years of creepy Joe Biden, and like Joe Biden letting his little uh, lover boy uh, Zelensky drag us into World War III. Like that's what I don't want. And so this is like a classic scenario uh, of, at least in my opinion, a classic scenario, at least in my opinion, of like. Ugh, we're going to have to like, like, I just, ugh, I don't want, I don't want Trump versus DeSantis. I think it means Republicans will lose. Do you think I'm being a doomer? Do you think that that's not true? Um, you know, I hope I'm wrong about that, but you know, it's not like Joe Rogan's ever going to endorse Donald Trump anyway, but he probably would endorse Ron DeSantis. Do you think, is that fair to say? I think that's probably fair to say. Um, so I think like DeSantis would just destroy Biden, 
But if like I can get four years of Trump and then eight years of DeSantis or, or potentially any other Republican that isn't a, a complete warmonger moron, uh, I think I'd be pretty happy. But that feels like uh, a best case scenario. Let me know. Is there any is there any uh, uh, hope if they run against each other? I, I just need it. Give me some hopium in the comments down below. Let me know. Do you think the nicknames are good or bad? And we'll talk to you again real soon.